What's up guys, this is Cody here, and I haven't done a tweet video in quite some time, so I figured I'd go ahead and do just that. Now, I was going through Cydia, and I didn't see a ton of really awesome paid tweaks, so all these tweaks are going to be free because free is awesome. Everybody likes free. So, let's go ahead and jump into this and check out what we have. First up, we have a tweet called Imperial. Now, what this tweet does is allow you to add a shortcut to your app switcher. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and open up my app switcher, right down here at the bottom is Imperial. And right now it's set to Cydia. Of course, you can set this to whatever application that you want to, but all you have to do, tap on that, and it's gonna launch that application. Simple as that. Now for this next tweak, I had to get it nice and sexy in here because this tweak called Flash only activates when it's dark. So it measures the light around your device and then adds this little shortcut to your flashlight right here on the lock screen when it's dark. So you just tap on this and you can see, boom, quick access to your flashlight. Next up, we have a tweak called Fold Lock. And what it does is add an animation to your lock screen that folds, as you can see right there. It's kind of hard to see just because of the dark background, but you can definitely see that clock folding in as I swipe across. And that's really all this tweak does. It's a free tweak, so you can check it out for yourself. Googes is another cool tweak that basically gets rid of badges altogether and it adds text at the bottom of your app icon. So you can see, for instance, right here that I have 7,000 uh, notifications in Gmail. You can see right here that I have two calls on my phone app, two snaps for Snapchat. We also have four updates for Cydia. So basically that's what it does. You can actually change this up just a little bit. I'll go into the settings here and show you a few things that you can do. So if we swipe down here and tap on Googes, you can see that you can enable it, you can hide the badges obviously, and you can hide all labels if you wanna do that. But right here is where you're going to actually uh, change up the label options. So I'm actually using color badges for labels, so it's color coding uh, my notifications or the text of the notifications for that particular app icon. But another cool one right here is show notification number only. So if I tap on that and then respring for the changes to take effect. All right, so now we're resprung. And we swipe across and you can see that there's 80 podcasts, two snaps, four updates, two calls, eight tweetbot notifications. So you basically see how this works. Next, we have a tweet called Nemirov. So what this does is change the animation that your, your device does when you take a screenshot. So for instance, if we go ahead and take one right now, you can see that nice little animation right there and there's more that you can select from. So if we swipe down here to Nemirov, I think is how you say it, and we tap on that, you can see that you can change the animation right here. So that's the one I was using, Ripple. You can change to American Flag, Checkerboard, Triforce, Shrink, Expand. Let's do the Shrink. And I think it takes effect immediately, just like that. Let's do the American Flag. If you're feeling very patriotic, Checkerboard. And let's do the Triforce. Oh, it's pretty dope. Maybe not the colors, but Triforce is kind of cool. Now you're definitely gonna to wanna to go back here and change up the primary color and secondary color, and you can change up the direction if you want to, but the colors definitely get a little weird if you don't have those set. But you can basically see how that works. Next is called Tweak Count 2. Very simple tweak. What it does when you open up Cydia here, you're actually gonna see how many packages that you have installed if you tap on Installed right here. And you can see that I have 39 packages installed in Cydia, and that's all that this tweak does. Next up, we have a tweak called Color Keys. Now, what this tweak does is allow you to change the color of your keyboard in specific areas. One of those areas is Spotlight. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and swipe down, boom, we got a pink keyboard, because that looks dope. Now, it's really easy to set up, just like you would basically any other tweak that has colors. Just make sure that it's enabled, tap on pick your color of your choice, and then boom, you can pick your color right here by using the red, green, blue sliders, as well as the alpha right down here. Next, we have a tweak called Easy App Orientation. Now, this is a really helpful tweak for me just because a lot of the applications that I use, I never want them in landscape. Some of them I do if I'm watching videos, but for instance, messages, I never want that thing to be in landscape because I'm never going to type on my phone in landscape. So for instance, we go into settings, we tap on, we're in Easy App Orientation settings, we tap on Portrait, and then you just enable the tweaks that you want to always be in Portrait no matter what. So we'll tap over here and we will actually go into my messages now and we're going to make sure that orientation lock is not turned on. And then we tap on messages here and you'll see if I try to rotate this, it's not going to rotate because easy app orientation is locking that puppy right into portrait mode. 
Next, we have a tweet called No More Magnifier. So what this does is get rid of that magnifying glass when you're tapping and dragging on your cursor, trying to get in a specific spot in your text. Now, I thought this was gonna be good, but it's actually not that great because you can't see a damn thing when you're trying to move this across. So you can see I'm trying to get in the middle and you can't see it because your thumb's right on it or your finger or whatever. But basically that's really all that this does. Now if you have the 6S, then you can easily just use the 3D touch to move your cursor around. That's gonna be a whole lot easier. Or you can just use swipe selection, which is a lot better tweak. And last but not least, we have a tweak called native YouTube share. So basically what this does is change the share sheet in your YouTube app. So for instance, if we tap on the share button right up here, you can see that this is what we normally get from YouTube. We're just gonna tap cancel here. And this is the native YouTube share tweak. So if we tap on that, you can see that you get the share sheet that you usually get when you're trying to share something. All right guys, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what type of video you guys wanna see next in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that like button. And if you guys wanna see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.